Um, if you've ever heard of my lab, you'll know that we've worked up here for a while, looking at the role of uh, the sirtuins, which are epigenetic regulators. Uh, and you've probably heard of the, the drugs metformin and rapamycin. Basically, this has been a lot of work in the aging field for the last 20 years, leading to the paradigm that the environment and molecules that stimulate, or I should say simulate fasting and exercise can provide health benefits, if not an increased health span and longevity. Um, you've probably also heard of senolytics, which are molecules being developed in animals and being tested in humans. No positive results that I'm aware of yet, but these are molecules that can either kill or modulate the gene expression of uh, what are often known as zombie cells, senescent cells in tissues that drive up inflammation and may also accelerate aging. And this is addressing what I'm calling on this slide, the A3 stage, the very end of the life of a cell. I have a student working on this and he's got some in vitro evidence at least uh, that, that it does delay cellular senescence. We need to now go into these, these mice that we've reprogrammed and, and really look at that. Um, so we don't know yet. I think that, I mean, I think the hypothesis is valid. Uh, it would make sense. Another question that we'd like to answer is if you reprogram a senescent cell, what happens? Is it bad uh, or does it reduce the SAS, the inflammation? Um, or could you restart, safely restart a senescent cell into the cell cycle? Uh, you know, that that's really, uh, that would be something unexpected, but we're going to try that. Uh, we know the first part that when we age those mice, they get inflammation in the cells they get in inflammatory markers. Uh, we see a slight induction of P21, et cetera. Uh, so in, in the mouse, yes, we've got in the brain, GFAP comes on the, the hallmark of inflammation in the brain. Uh, that is de delayable, if that's a word, by overexpressing CERT1. That was in Philip's 2008 cell paper that I referenced. We don't yet know, unfortunately, whether reprogramming will reverse inflammation. Uh, we focused on the eye. I uh, will check that. Um, based on gene expression, we, we think that that's going to be true, but we do need to do more work.